It's new this morning at 4.30. In a TV story about a shooting that took place in a Chicago neighborhood, a reporter chooses to talk to a four-year-old boy to get reaction. And we apologize for the video quality, but what's important here is what is said. Listen to how the news anchors promote the violent story, what the child says, and how the rest of the story is read. Meantime, two teenagers are wounded on the city's south side. It happened at East 74th as an 18-year-old man and 16-year-old girl were hit while standing on the sidewalk. The male's in good condition while the girl's expecting to recover. And kids on the street, as young as four, were there to see it all unfold and had a disturbing reaction. No, I'm not scared of nothing. When What's you get that? older, you going to stay away from all these guns? No. No? No. What do you want to do when you get older? I'm going to have me a gun. That is very scary indeed. So far, no suspects are in custody. At first, a viewer might think the children were hardened, soon-to-be street criminals. But someone at Chicago's WBBM leaked the entire interview to journalism watchdog groups. Again, we apologize for what you see, but listen to what the reporter and the child actually said in the whole interview. When you get older, you going to stay away from all these guns? No. No? No. What do you want to do when you get older? I'm going to have me a gun. You are? Why do you want to do that? You know what happens when I'm going to be the police. Okay, well then, then you can have one. The U.S. Civil Rights Group, the NAACP, wants action taken against the reporter and the editor. It's disturbing. As somebody who's a former journalist, like many past presidents of the NAACP, it's important to tell the whole truth. In American communities of color, civic groups have long complained about how they are portrayed in TV news reports and in newspapers. Many believe this incident is proof positive of a pervasive and long-standing problem in American media. But others who watch the industry insist this is an isolated incident. Journalism scholar and author Al Tompkins spoke with WBBM's news director. He tells Press TV the station has admitted they made a gross mistake and that personnel responsible were disciplined. We have to talk about what we stand for as newsrooms. We have to talk about what our uh, ethical considerations are when we interview vulnerable people, especially at the scene of something like a shooting. Um, so, you know, it's the sort of thing that newsrooms ought to talk a lot more about. It's uh, the sort of thing that we ought to have a lot more conversation and training about, but we just don't. WBBM would not return phone calls to Press TV, but issued an apology that said, in part, we accept responsibility for the mistakes that were made, both in the reporting and editing of the story. The video of the child should not have aired. We have followed up with our employees to make sure that we all have learned from the mistakes that were made. Gary Anthony Ramsey, Press TV, New York.